Hi guys, it's Halloween and I thought what better way to do a Disney villain makeup than Halloween. If you want to get this really wearable natural look, then keep on watching. Oh, I look so hot. What's wrong with your hair? <coughs> Gotta look weird. So I just came back from work and I have mascara on but I cleaned my face so I can get rid of my eyebrows and I'm flattening them with spirit gum and a spatula. Then I apply wax on and then I spread it with my fingers to flatten and I apply a sealant to set it. Then I have no brows when I put concealer on. And now I'm using the Makeup Forever palette and mixing it with a foundation that sets and this way it will go on more smoothly and more like a foundation would. I'm getting a greyish purple colour like this. I'm just applying it all over the face and don't forget your neck area. And what you want to do is just avoid your lips and your eyes because we're putting different colours there. I'm setting it with an HD powder just so that it doesn't move throughout the day. I'm drawing in a fake crease and I'm going up as high as I can because once I reach the wax it's quite a soft texture. So I'm just drawing it like that and adding some black powder and then some brown powder. Just blending it out as much as I can. And then I'm adding a green pencil as a base for my eyelids. And on top of that I'm going to put a green eyeshadow just to make it very pigmented and dramatic. And I'm using a burgundy shadow just in the crease to blend it out. And I'm actually bringing that down into the nose to create a really sharp evil nose. I'm going to put black eyeliner on the bottom rim and then bring that to the top as well like panda eyes. And I'm using the same liner just to map out the eyebrows. I'm drawing little dots so I can join them later. It just makes it a lot easier to get somewhat of a symmetrical brow. Don't worry too much if they don't look the same because in the cartoon they're actually not that similar. And I'm just actually filling in the brows with a gel eyeliner. This is to make it a bit more dramatic and so that it sets and stays in place. I'm just going to colour it in just like this. And don't forget the other side. Now if you make any mistakes you can just use the foundation and wipe it away just like this. Now I'm creating a winged eyeliner and bring it out really far for a dramatic effect and I'm putting on some false lashes, really dramatic ones and just more natural ones on the bottom lid. Here I'm using a lip pencil just to create that upturned lip shape. And don't forget to join it with your natural lip shape. And I'm drawing a cross here on the cupid's bow just to sharpen that up. You can go a little thinner but I like to go with my lip shape because my lips pout out too much. And I put on some matte lipstick on the lips just to tie the look together. Here I'm using the burgundy eyeshadow just to contour and create a really skeletal skinny face. And I'm causing a little V shape here on the cheekbone just to emulate what the cartoon kind of has. But just a softer version because I don't have moulding wax. And I'm putting the shadow around my nose just to create that snouty nose. And adding some eyeliner in the nostril just to make the same effect really. And I'm done. Bye.